Can you visit Rome on a budget? And how much does it actually cost? We're the budgeteers and we're traveling all around Italy on just 1,000 euros. And in this episode, we're in Rome discovering what's fun and what's actually worth seeing. <laughs> oh no, I didn't record me. <laughs> Did it. This adventure series is made possible thanks to these amazing travel brands. Ortlieb, Commute and Tropic Feel. Yeah, we woke up now very, very early. The thing is, we got woken up a lot because there are a few roosters here and some geese that just like to have a party at like three o'clock. At all hours of the night. Yeah. But we're gonna get ready. We're yeah. Pack up our stuff. All right, Captain. And then we're gonna hit the road because it's meant to rain in a few hours. Yeah. Oh, we're getting ready to leave. This is the house of the wonderful people that hosted us uh, yesterday night. Uh, fortunately, they're not. They're already gone to work or to somewhere else. Uh, they're home, so we can't say goodbye. But if you see this. Grazie mille. Yeah. Thanks a thousand times yeah, yeah. for your hospitality. It just goes to show that complete strangers can be very, very kind to travelers. Yeah, we had the best time. We had yeah. the best time. So now the goal is to get to Siena. <laughs> yeah. Before it rains. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, before we can explore the city of Rome and do as much as possible on a budget, we first have to make it there, which will require us to do an epic cycling challenge. From the middle of nowhere in Tuscany, we're heading towards the old historic city of Siena. And since yesterday we really didn't get too far, we have twice the distance to cover today. So we're leaving bright and early and we'll get breakfast somewhere on the road. Extra, extra careful. Choose some good lines to ride, avoid sharp rocks. So no flat tires because we have no spares. Yeah, we're living on the edge. What are we bridge? See the Via Francesena suit. We're still following the old pilgrim trail of the Via Francesena, which goes through the very rustic countryside, along beautiful roads, passing one cute little village after another. Which is pretty fun since you go through places which you would otherwise never see as a tourist. <laughs> Are you alright? I'm alright, mate. I'm alright. Okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no, where have we ended up? <laughs> I think we're gonna get murdered. Hi. So smelly. We're quite smelly. We're very smelly. Day two on the road, and uh, we need to do a wash. Okay. Like we we showered, but our clothes need a wash. So we've stopped on this bridge. And she's grumpy. I am not. <laughs> I'm not. I swear. The exhaustion of cycling for two days was really starting to show. We weren't used to this at all. And as much as we love this, we were reaching our limit. Hills 
in Tuscany are very steep and they go like straight up. We do have a beautiful view, but it's so tough. Yeah, we keep pushing and doing whatever we can to get us across those steep Tuscany hills. Our legs are burning, but we are surviving somehow, which we saw as a victory in itself. We would just love to continue to cycle and camp like we did yesterday, but we want to explore new regions of Italy too. So we're gonna push on and cycle those last few kilometers, so we could make it to Siena for sunset. But those last kilometers are proving to be the hardest. Yes, we're finally going down. Oh my god. Straight into town. Hey guys. Hey. We made it to Siena. We have arrived oh my God. in Siena and I've never seen Lina in this state. <laughs> complete. <laughs> Destroyed. <laughs> but we made it. We made it. This was one crazy ride. Oh my God. We, I can't feel my legs anymore. I am the worst bike packer ever. <laughs> This is the most well-deserved beer yeah. we've ever Cheers. had. Cheers. Salud. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, suddenly the apocalypse is upon us. We were sitting at the bar over there and suddenly a storm came. Yeah, this crazy rainstorm was pouring down an insane amount of water and our bikes with all our gear and clothes were getting completely drenched. We thought all our gear might be gone, but our amazing Ortley bike bags were totally waterproof and all our stuff survived without worries. But unfortunately for us, our clothes weren't as waterproof as our Ortley bags. So by the time we reached the cheapest guest house that we could find, we were completely soaked. We're soaked we are and soaked. we're ready to feel clean and warm again. Oh my gosh, we're so ready. L Lena needs need, a bed We both and a need shower. a shower. Well, most definitely, yes. We both need a bed. So this is our room. I'll give you a view. Very, very, very simple. Very basic. Uh, I'm gonna, just gonna sleep here and get up early next morning. Get to Rome. But I'm gonna take a shower because I really, really need it. Even a bath and a toilet. Good morning. Hello. We're doing the same routine as we always do. Packing up. Putting everything in our Ortley uh, bike bags, which no, always no, takes some time because we're very, very sleepy in the morning. We are not a morning person, unlike Patty. We wish he was here, but we did get a good, nice rest, which, which was worth forty euros. I. I. Room sweep. Room sweeping. We do a room sweep everywhere because we forget a ton of stuff. So we check out under the bed. We check. Under, under the, the pillow, under the, under the desk. I think we're good to go. Let's hit the road. But, Animal! Uh, yeah, like, Let's go! Bar, my legs hurt and uh, we're very tired. It's all uphill from here. Stop! It's all uphill. I want to kill all the hills. We're on a bike in Siena. Who would have thought we actually managed to? It is. The old town of Siena is looking to be a good prelude to Rome. The city center here is just filled with historic buildings, beautiful statues and old churches. And also a lot of tourists, even in the early mornings like today. And if you look closely, there are a lot of references to Rome, like this statue of the Capitoline Wolf which resembles the legend of the two children who were raised by a wolf and later founded Rome. But the most famous part of Siena must be the stunning Piazza del Campo. Well, 
Siena was well worth that really challenging bike ride. Like, I'm so happy we made it here. <laughs> yeah. It was two days of excruciating Pain. uphill, downhills, Pain. but viewing this really old but beautiful monumental town, I would say, really worth it. Yeah. Up next, we're going to Rome. We're going to the eternal city filled with even more history. And we have nothing prepared, so... <laughs> nothing? Like we don't even know where we're gonna sleep tonight. But we do have a few challenges in mind of things we'd like to do and see in Rome. So, we have an hour to get to our train. Yeah. We'll see you there. Thank you, Siena! <laughs> <laughs> The train station! We think this might be our train. Hello! From the train on our way to Rome. We're now on like the smallest train we've ever been on. Yeah. It's a small local train and we just barely fit our bikes on. And we have about four and a half hours to roam. Yeah. Let's just relax for the next four and a half hours and we're gonna see you in Rome. Let's go. Train number two. He was leaning. Here's my bike called Garibaldi. And here's Lina's bike called J Balmin. Yeah, See? This train is actually quite nice. There's enough space. There's space for the bikes. Very important. And now we have an hour to our next stop. And we're gonna look for a hospital. After what is four hours? Four and a half. Four and a half hours. We made it to Rome. Finally, Finally here. We have no accommodation, so we have to go find that. But we're really excited to discover Rome. All right, we found the hostel, the cheapest one that we could find in Rome. It's also really close to the train station, so that was a bonus. This is what it looks like. Hello. We're sharing the room with, well, it's a Sigus bed dorm. Lina's gonna be sleeping over there. I'm gonna be sleeping over there. There's other people over there. There's an aircon, which I hope is not gonna freeze us tonight. Yeah, because um, I'm not gonna have my sweater, because we're gonna do laundry, because our clothes smell so bad, it will probably grow feet and run away <laughs> if it's around for another day, so. And then I would like to go see the Trevi Fountain. But since it's almost evening, we just wanna like do something today. Just to get a wee feel of the town. We've uh, dropped off our washing and we're now taking a stroll through Rome. Hi. Which according to Lina is the best way to get to know a city. And she's right. It is! You don't agree? No, I said you were right. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vale. Yeah, I think the best way to get to know a new place is to walk around in it. Yeah, yeah. Um. And get a wee bit lost. The first impressions of Rome. It's very busy, it's very crowded. The chaos on the road is even more chaotic, more busy and even harder to navigate around than Milan. If that is anything to like it is, <laughs> go it, by. It is crazier, but it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, I feel like every city I go to, I'm like, this is so beautiful. Yeah, it, Italy, Italy is amazing and I feel like every corner we pass by there's like old churches, Not old buildings, like, it's insane. So this is one of the examples, a big building, and how beautiful. Beautiful buildings here, 
Beautiful building there. Very nice buildings over there. Everywhere. So we're quite impressed by Rome. I'm also impressed by its size. It's huge. So the fact that we're walking it is uh, a little bit intimidating because we might get really, really, really lost. Don't worry. We'll me. have to walk a lot. Haven't you learned that I will never steer you wrong? I will never steer you wrong. I might steer you a bit astray, <laughs> but never wrong. In a wee bit of circles. <laughs> well, we'll be all right. Yeah. I think I see an influencer hotspot on the horizon gate. <laughs> <laughs> Ties, did you pack my influencer dress? Uh, which one? <laughs> the black I got one. five. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> change. All of them I have to change five times. And twirl. We're now at one of Rome's most famous tourist attractions, which, which is, is called the Trevi Fountain. And this is what it really looks like. known to a lot of Instagrammers as well and we just want to show you what it's really like. This is it, this is it. Like, oh my head hurts. <laughs> oh my back. <laughs> This is what you might not see on all the pictures online, but this place is always packed with tourists, both day and night, so be prepared. It's insane. But we nevertheless had to try the Trevi Fountain coin toss as well. We're gonna throw in a coin, because one in Rome... Oh, literally, one in Rome, wow. You can spare 10 cents for the, of the budget, right? <laughs> you cheap budget here, you. Verdict. This place is very beautiful, the sculptures are amazing and this fountain is very like historic, a lot of meaning to it, but the amount of people kind of kills it for me. It draws so much, like such a huge crowd and so many Instagrammers that yeah, kind of kills the mood. I thought I knew how to be an Instagrammer the night came here. <laughs> but no doubt this fountain is stunning, but we preferred to look around for more sights to see. And luckily in Rome you don't have to go far. We're here. Sadly, the Colosseum isn't open at night, but we kept walking around the streets of Rome and we popped inside a few beautiful churches that remained open throughout the night, which were pretty impressive. The next morning, we woke up feeling pretty bad. Oh no, oh no. Even with a good breakfast, both of us felt completely wrecked and a little bit sick. But despite all of that, we were still fully determined to go out and explore the other side of Rome today. We're now in Roma San Pietro. This is the train station that is right next to the Vatican, which we're gonna visit today. Lina's got a bit of a cold of the aircon on the trains and like the hot, hot weather outside, so the constant change. And I think and also from the bike ride we did the other day to Siena, because like we were cycling all day, we were sweating loads, and then as soon as we arrived in Siena, like the moment we parked our bike, it was like torrential downpours and we got super wet. And yeah. we had to like, after that, cycle to our guest house and plus the air con, plus so I'm just like not feeling yeah. well. And uh, my stomach is just really upset 
and I also think just the fatigue of a uh, we're now almost was it two weeks in um, yeah is that is that classic moment when you're like two weeks in and fatigue starts setting in if you're traveling like we do <laughs> if you've seen the entire series so far we've done a lot of kilometers <laughs> we've done a lot but this is not gonna stop us uh, we just have well we just had a bit of a, a lane and lazy morning but um, I think we're ready to discover what uh, the Vatican is all about here we're in Italy we're in Rome over there we're in another country it's crazy Borders we were only so gonna weird. do one country in this series, but apparently we're gonna well, do we're two. We're doing two. Way. That's what you what we get when you're traveling with a Colombian. You're not allowed <laughs> to enter a country. <laughs> That's where we're going. Turns out it's actually really easy to enter the Vatican City. They don't even check passports, which if you've seen past series, you know I was really relieved about. Maybe. Hey, we made it inside. We're now on St. Peter's Square. Inside This, the this is what it looks like. Yeah, we're so inside the Vatican. Italy is there, yep. behind those pillars. And we're now inside the Vatican. We're now here at the Pope's house. Hello. Francisco. This square is huge. <laughs> it's hard to like gauge yeah. the, the size of it because it's just the, the buildings around it are just so huge. With all amazing sculptures and uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. I, I actually thought it was going to be busier, but since it's still... It's not that busy. No, we came here like up at peak crowded. moment, but um, pretty, pretty relatively quiet. Yeah. We still have a long way to go. But it's moving quite fast. The Vatican City is actually the smallest country in the world. A walk around its border would only be three kilometers long. But it's been an independent country for almost a hundred years now, with the Pope ruling as its monarch over a population of just 825 people these days. This small country is chucked full with the world's most holy Catholic churches and shrines though, such as the St. Peter's Basilica, which we've just entered, but also the Sistine Chapel and the Vatican Museums, all of which feature some of the world's most famous paintings and sculptures. It's so huge and it's filled, filled, filled with artwork. Gorgeous statues everywhere, marble, and it's so large. Like, look how high up it is. Like, this is, like, this is the smallest dome. There's an even one above the altar that's even bigger. This is crazy. You could spend here an entire day looking at all the artwork. It's very, very impressive. And for an extra 8 euros, you can climb up the highest dome, which is a staggering 135 meters high. One of the world's highest domes and designed by Michelangelo himself. For an additional 2 euros, you can take up an elevator to save yourself the hassle. But we're cheap, so we took the stairs. Something tells me I'm gonna be afraid of heights. <laughs> Okay. Even though I was shitting myself at this height, it really was worth all the stress. If you're claustrophobic, you wouldn't like the corridors and stairs inside this massive structure, but it really is geniusly designed. I'm gonna, gonna, gonna stick to the walls. Go on, Tice. We made it all the way up the top. We did. How are you feeling? Uh, a bit, we bit better now, but yeah. uh, in the beginning I was shaken There's with the uh, afraid of heights. There's a lot of stairs. <laughs> and it was very claustrophobic. Were very, yeah. Yeah. It's but, yeah. But so close to be able to be on the top of the basilica. Yeah. The it's view's amazing. It's surreal. I thought it was quite expensive, like eight euros, but 
looking at the experience, I'm like, man, it's worth it. Yeah. The view is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Worth it. Worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but uh, don't do it hungry. <laughs> yeah. All those stairs are making us hungry. So now we're going to try and budgeteer a cheap lunch. Yeah. Here. We're going to go find some lunch. We have no idea where to go, but we'll let you know where we end up. Yeah, by the time we descended all those narrow stairs and made it out, it was already way past midday. And finding an affordable restaurant inside or close to the Vatican was proving to be impossible. So by the time we found some food, we were completely dead and crashed. We just had lunch and uh, we were supposed to go to the 16th chapel, but we decided to get a beer instead and relax for a little bit. Nice. Our batteries are spent. My batteries wasted me. And it's the hottest part of the day, so we need some refreshments. Yeah. Some some liquids. Escape from the heat for this time and uh, relax and then we'll go and visit the Colosseum afterwards. Aye. Aye. That sounds like a plan. Salud. Salud. Oui. We're walking over to the Colosseum. Which is all the way across town. Yeah. It's a 40 minute walk. It's very far. Uh, but we've come up with a good plan. We're going to walk about halfway and then we're gonna drink a beer. And then we're gonna walk the other half of the way. Yeah. Boom. Cheers. Salute. 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 Yeah. Eye contact. This is exactly what the doctor ordered. No, no, the doctor ordered ibuprofen. <laughs> <laughs> same, same. Yeah, after all that walking, cycling and traveling for the past 14 days, we just honestly wanted to chill out and do nothing for a change. Here on The Budgeteers, we want to show you the real side of travel, unfiltered and without the glamour. And we still want to do as much as possible, but today just wasn't such a day. We're on our way to the Colosseum right now. Yep. It's just that. Just it's, sort of it's straight in, in front our, of us. It's right in front straight of us. Straight in front of us. See it. The only downside is that we've spent too much drinking beers. Oh my gosh. And the second downside is that the beers here are crazy expensive. <laughs> we forgot is, we forgot to ask for the price because the food here like yeah. The food is pretty cheap. It's really cheap. Like it's cheaper than Milan. Yeah, it's it's like an average I would say of six euros a meal. Yeah. Which is fairly pretty cheap. cheap. Now the beers here are at the same price. They're six euros for a beer. Sorry mate. We might be too late to like visit the Colosseum. So we hope we're still allowed to enter. So with the sun fading away, we rushed to the ticket office in the hope of entering with the last round of visitors. Well, as you might have guessed, we've missed the Colosseum. We were too late to enter. But never worry, we're gonna try again tomorrow morning, early morning. That's why we're going back to our hostel now. So early ha tomorrow. Give our bodies a rest after two weeks on the road. Finally, I have a, like a quiet night, early night, and then be the first ones at the entrance at the Colosseum tomorrow. Money can't buy you happiness, but it can buy you gelato. That makes me pretty happy. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Well said. Good morning, guys. Good morning. We made it today to the Coliseum. We made it inside. Yeah, so we're here and we're heading in right now. We're super excited to see it. One piece of information though, yeah. you have to <laughs> reserve and it's best to book online for these things. We didn't know, we just researched that yesterday evening. But so if you come, do buy a ticket online and you have to like reserve a time slot. Yeah. Luckily there was still time for us. So but we're in. We're here now, we're in. And we're gonna we're gonna check out the Colosseum. Yeah, we were so happy to finally make it inside of the Colosseum. On our last day in Rome, we would not have wanted to miss this one. Because the Colosseum is one of the seven wonders of the world. It's the largest amphitheater ever built. And it's one of the most iconic remnants of the great Roman Empire. It was used for great public spectacles and gladiator fights. And it seated 50,000 spectators. For free, by the way. 
and walking around inside this amazing structure makes you realize how big it is and how crazy that it still stands to this day. To be honest, I guess not having, bueno, I, I, I can only give my opinion. Mm -hmm. Not having grown up in Europe, it just feels incredibly surreal to be here. Cause you know, like you learn about the Colosseum in, in history books and in school and it's 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 really surreal. But even for me. Claro. <laughs> well, well, that's why I was like, like, well. This place is huge. Yeah. And it was built 1,942 years ago. Sí. How? How did they do it? <laughs> it's crazy. No, it's crazy. So amazed. It's crazy. Um, so yeah. So we're just walking around. We had like bought a ticket which actually allowed us to go over there as well which was just a little bit more expensive we were like like three euros more expensive or so and we're, we're like, like yeah, yeah cool might well arena. Awesome. like well we'll just check all of this out as well like we want to like get the full tour let's say exactly. Par apparently we, we we missed an exit and now because it's one way we're not allowed to go back <laughs> they won't let us go up the stairs they're like yeah you had to go when you were upstairs you had to go down a different set of stairs and we're like okay can we just go back up the stairs and they said no no i mean it's one no. way yeah so. this, this place is huge and they've created a maze inside <laughs> that you need to follow we missed one exit and now we're like okay so we messed up still it was about 28 euros to visit this place um which is a pretty steep price, especially for our budget. Yeah. But yeah, if you hold the, the title of one of the seven world wonders, you kind of like need to do it. I think it's <laughs> worth it. I uh, no, and I love this place as well. Every like the history behind this. Yeah, this is almost two thousand years of uh, history. Definitely. Yeah, worth it. Worth it. We're well, well worth the money. Yeah. And Just unlike, don't mess up like us. And unlike the Taj Mahal that we visited in Series 3, which is also a world, world wonder, uh -huh. this is actually a lot less crowded. Claro. Bye bye Colosseum. Bye bye. Bye bye. Gotta exit. Having seen the Colosseum, our time in Rome was up. We spent two days here and spent a total budget of 160 euros each, trains and hostels included. That means our total budget count is now well over halfway. But since we want to make it all the way to the south of Italy and experience all kinds of different things, we needed to rush and jump on a train towards the next city fast. Ooh. We just made it on the train and we just barely made it in time. Barely, it is an understatement. Yeah, yeah. Get any time. I thought we were gonna miss it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I thought we were gonna miss it. Luckily, uh, but now we're on our way to Napoli, which should take another three hours at least. Yeah. Three and a half. Three and a half, something like that. Uh, as you can tell, the the trains are wee bit crowded. Now in Napoli city, dum, 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 dum. it's still very sunny. Hi. It's about five o'clock. Yes. Five o'clock. So we have to make our way towards the ferry, the ferry that is going to take us to Sicily, all the way overnight, which just means that we have two hours to find something to eat and make our way across town. Timey. Let's go to the left. Wow. So, uh, let's go there. Just around the corner. If I'm correct. Alright, 
I'm gonna show you guys the ferry that we're boarding. I told Ty it's not a ferry, it's a cruise ship. That's a ferry Italian. It's massive. Well, that's actually quite spacious. I, I thought it was going to be like a tight squeeze, but this is quite that's large. Like we, we have more more space than in no, a like regular hostel. Go on, give a few a few kicks. Go on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. So I'm like almost two meters. Good news, there is a bathroom. We didn't know if there was actually gonna be one. But what what does it look like? Wow, it's massive! <laughs> well, there's an actual full shower and toilet in here. Oh no. Can you tell? Oh. It's All the not dust not room. <laughs> I'm a seasick already. <laughs> oh, that reminds me I need to take my pills. So this was about 40 euros each, and if you like calculate it, we would spend the amount of money on a train and on a hostel. So now we got it both in one. We save half a day of travel at least. I think we save eight hours of travel and we save on accommodation. Guys, Lena has not had bowel movement since. When was the last time since we left Treviso or was it somewhere in Tuscany? Patty would love this. Patty would love this ship. Patty would love this ship. Oh, there's an announcement. Comunicazione di servizio Tanino Agnello, Tanino Agnello contatto ufficio, grazie. Tada, this is what it looks like, cozy. I had a nice refreshing shower and now we're gonna explore this huge ship. Let's go, Lina, let's go. Ooh, I think that's the restaurant part. Big ship. I love it. What is it, Ties? A wee big ship. Hi. I think everyone had like the similar idea of like checking out the city one last time. It's dark by now, but they're bringing in the last trucks and then the ship can leave. Now over there you have a, a lot smaller ferry and over there you can see very fancy cruise ships. So there is a bar on board, but since we're budgeteers we did we're able to get beers before we got on the ship. Aye. Cheers. Hey, cheers, mate. Salud. Yeah. We wanted to like see the sunrise on the ship. Yeah. And um, it's, it's starting to be amazing. Yeah, <laughs> it's starting to be amazing. I don't know if we're gonna get to see the whole sunrise because this boat is arriving a lot yep. earlier than we thought. Yeah, um, we're, we're already seeing uh, Palermo and Sicily. Here in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. But we loved this ferry ride. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we were very tired. <laughs> we fell asleep like Patty at 10 last night. And that's late for Patty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's late for Patty, early for us. Patty, you would have loved it here, mate. Mm. A good beer and then immediately go to sleep. And it was just, I slept like a baby. Yeah, me too. I'm really excited to see Sicily. From what I've read and what I've seen, it looks like it's going to be very different from everything else we've oh, seen. No. So I'm super excited to see the, the south of Italy, but I'm I'm really grateful to have seen Rome. See all those tourist attractions, even though we don't normally go to a lot of tourist attractions on the yeah, show, yeah, yeah, like yeah. I just feel like when you're in a city like Rome, you have to, and yeah. uh, it's worth the money. It was yeah. just 
amazing and surreal. Honestly, I thought we would spend even more money, although we did. We spent a lot. We spent, although we spent a lot, I thought I thought it was going to be even more expensive. So thanks for watching this episode and thanks for watching our entire Italy series. Uh, we are really, really, really looking forward to discovering Sicily. So come and join us in the next episode. Yeah, and uh, we have to run because if we don't pack our bags right now, then we're not going to be able to join you on the next episode. And that'd be a little weird because we're the talent. <laughs> the talent. Yeah, that one, that, that needed to be said. <laughs> the talent? Is that the word? <laughs> I'm pretty talent. What's the opposite of talent? Talentless. <laughs> yeah. Dios. Dios. Thank you.